Imagine you're asking ChatGPT for help with something deeply personal. Now picture that exact conversation showing up in a Google search. That's exactly what happened. Some ChatGPT conversations were publicly visible online. In a few cases, users could even be identified based on personal details they included in the chat. So how do you know if this affects you? And more importantly, how can you use AI chatbot safely? But first, how could that even happen? OpenAI ran an experiment to make shared chats easier to find, even through search engines like Google. That's what an OpenAI spokesperson said. Here's the catch. Users didn't realize that when they clicked share and created a link, that link could be indexed by Google. That means anyone could stumble upon it, even if the chat was about something private. In most cases, the person who shared the chat stayed anonymous, but not always. Some chats included personal details like a LinkedIn profile, making it easier to identify the user. Depending on what was shared, this could have severe consequences. Embarrassment, reputational damage or even cybercrime. Scammers could use personal details to target individuals. OpenAI has now disabled the feature. New chats will no longer be indexed by search engines. But already shared links still exist and they don't vanish from search engines overnight. How can you find out if you have been affected? Here's what to do. Check if you have any shared chats. Look for links you created, then Google your chat titles to see if they show up in the search results. Delete shared links if you don't need them. And in case you find one of your chats has been indexed, use Google's removal tool. In general, consider the following tips to use AI chatbots safely. Don't share your personal details. Never put in your full name, address, password or financial details. Be careful with file uploads. Only share files that don't contain sensitive data. Clear your chat history regularly. If the platform allows it, delete old conversations. And even if it feels like too long didn't read, check the privacy guidelines of the tools you use. Know how your data is stored and whether it's used to train AI models. If so, you might want to opt out or not use the tool at all. Because the ChatGPT incident most likely won't be just a one-off, it's a glimpse of what's coming. OpenAI's experiment is part of a much bigger shift. AI is changing how we interact with the internet. Whether we like it or not, more and more online content is now created partly or entirely by AI. Millions use AI chatbots as a search tool. Google shows AI-generated summaries instead of linking to original sources. That means fewer people click through to the actual website. This is changing the way we navigate the internet in a fast way. One tiny example. Those who publish written content online need to write in a particular way so that AI will pick it up and feature it. So how do we deal with this? Can we protect ourselves from the bad consequences of the AI revolution? Globally, we're seeing two very different strategies. In the US, Donald Trump's government is giving AI developers free reign. The idea is that regulation stifles innovation and that the market will push companies to self-regulate. In the EU, the focus is on protecting users, preventing bias and ensuring the accountability of tech companies. The new AI Act sets clear rules for developers and aims to ban high-risk practices. What do you think? Should AI be more tightly regulated or should innovation come first?